how I first came to, to service, because I think of myself, I am an actor, um, but I'm also an activist. And people who know me know me more as an activist. When I was at Villanova University, I was studying peace and justice education um, and women's, international women's rights. My mentor, Father Ray Jackson, who my son is named after, my son's name is Jackson Blue, he, I was writing a book with him on peace and justice education. I was working at the Women's Law Project in Philadelphia. I always felt like my destiny was to empower women, that I was just put on this earth to, to do that, to, to be a voice somehow. And so it was shocking to me that as I was taking my law school exams to go to law school at the end of my junior year, someone said, hey, you could take an acting class as an elective. Now I come from, you know, a blue collar family from Philly. My father's a disabled construction worker, my mom's a nurse. We didn't know we could be an actor. I thought you had to be born in Hollywood or I didn't know how that worked. All I knew is the boy that I had a crush on, Drew, was in that class. So, so for me, the truth is the reason why I wanted to take a class because of Drew. So I take the class and as soon as I did my first monologue, I knew that's what I was supposed to do. I just knew it in my gut, and I was so ashamed in a lot of ways. I went to Father Ray, who was my mentor, and I, I was crying, and I said, I don't know what to do. I, I always felt like I was supposed to be in service to the world, and this was my path, and suddenly I want to act, and it seems like such a selfish profession. And he said the greatest words and what I live by, which is, you serve best by doing the thing you love most. And that very thing has come full circle in my life right now so that I can really stand up at 45 years old and say everything that I've created, I'm still empowering women throughout the world, but because I became an actor, I actually even have a bigger voice to get these voices of these women out.